What's going on guys? Welcome back to Falling Tide TV. As always, my name's Nate. On this episode, we get the privilege of introducing to you something special. We were able to pick up this piece of property in the off season and we're really excited to get to know it with you. We carefully searched hundreds of available properties and balanced both cost and the potential of success. We keyed in on this property based on its location. Tons of feed a few miles to the south, vast open water in a historical loafing area directly south, a large body of salt and brackish marsh that historically holds large number of gadwalls to the north. The area of the property is not really a prime destination for most hunters these days based on how far the boat run is and it's surrounded by private landowners that don't lease the hunting rights. It seems to have all the potential to be a great trafficking area for Gadwall especially. And anyone who knows me knows that those gray ducks are my favorite. So needless to say, I'm fired up about opening day here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I look forward to hunting here several more times throughout the season and I hope you enjoy learning it with us. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. As always, my name is Nate and it is opening morning of duck season officially here in Louisiana. And uh, with me I got my buddy Shane over there. Y'all probably can't see him, it's a little dark. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm a little bit under the weather this morning, but I mean, hey. Uh, I ain't missing. I ain't missing duck season. I ain't missing not a. I mean, if I'm if I gotta be like deathly sick for me to miss a day of duck hunting and opening day, you probably would have to strap me down to keep me from coming out here. So I'm pretty excited. We're actually on this uh, new piece of property that we picked up in the off season and uh, trying it out for the first time. Uh, not really sure how good we're gonna do. Uh, we really didn't see that many birds yesterday, but you know, I kind of have a, a bit of a theory. I don't know. I usually like to hunt where the ducks are if I can help it, but you know, we, we got to come out here. We got to see this place and, and we have to experience it and see what it's like. And uh, to do that, we, you know, you can't, you can't just guess. You got to actually come out here and see it for yourself. So, you know, we kind of break up these marshes into two categories over here. We, we talk about the inside and the outside. So the inside is your more freshwater marshes, uh, a lot of feed, a lot of diversity. And that's where the ducks I would prefer to be for the most part they do need to come to the salt marsh at times but for the most part they want to be in that fresh marsh and the outside is what you would call uh what you would say is, is salt marsh for the most part there is some freshwater marshes on the outside but for the most part it's salt marsh and that's what this is where we're hunting and they usually use this this type of area for a refuge uh, for the most part they, they do have some feed here but for the most part they come here to refuge golly these gnats are driving me nuts right now but uh yeah that's another thing about salt marsh gnats but yeah, so we're, we're hoping, I guess what I'm saying is we're hoping that this morning with all the shooting being opening day, um, you know, birds get up and want to come look for refuge. And if they do, we'll be waiting on them. That's two ducks right there. How did I miss that shot? <laughs> I don't think you missed it. No, he went down right there. No, no, it was down over here. Uh, but yeah, we're about, to, we're about to go ahead and start hunting on that note. So it is officially shooting light. I know it looks dark right now, but... Shooting light was about five minutes ago. So, yep, about to get the GoPro on and get the guns loaded. Let's hunt. Shane, when we found that duck, by the way, I know y'all couldn't see the uh, the footage too good, but it was two gadwall come right in the decoys and he killed one of them. He thought he missed it, but it looked hit to me and sure enough, it was over there dead on the bank. So, check him out. First gaddy of the year. Wow. Now y'all probably can't see too well, but there he is, beautiful. Beautiful early. That's an early season. Drake. Beautiful. Oh, we got a hood on him. Yeah. Oh, Lord, these nests are so bad, Shane. So, yeah, y'all, we hunting out of layouts. I just kind of lay down and brush up. Hey, if you want to put some more by you, you can. Oh, shoot, they coming this way. That's four teal, I think. Oh, that's grays. That's grays? They just flying low. Coming straight in. Yep. You ready? Kill him. That one's gonna die, I think. I dropped one. Yeah, we each got one. 
That was perfect. Yeah, that was beautiful. Great job. Three already, that ain't bad. Let's start the morning, dude. There's four right there. That's two. I mean, we ain't even in the blind yet, dude. Like, we just crouched down in the grass. <laughs> and I won't be in that freaking blind down here until these nets stop. Oh, you, I ain't doing it, bro. Look at these two. Look at these two. We might get more than that. Oh, four. It's four more. Oh, they're going to overshoot us. Oh no, they coming. Just be still. Kill him. Damn, bro. Pretty sure. Shots before I can get to him. My bad, dude. I went to go shoot him. You <laughs> folded him. <laughs> uh, my bad. Yeah, I know you, we were shooting the same birds on that no, one, but, but look, hey, look, on my defense, I'm on the right side of the blind. I shot the, the far right. <laughs> I go to shoot the left bird, you already shot the first one. I go to pull the trigger twice and you f***ing shot both times. Well, that's good. Well, the morning's going uh, better than I expected so far. Because, I mean... We got six birds down? Oh, well, I mean, them things swooped right around right here, banked right there, and came straight in. Like, they didn't even think twice. And that, my friend, is why I love saltwater marsh hunting. Probably gonna have some ducks come in while I'm doing this. You know that, right? I doubt it. We got, we probably got a little wave over from it. That just tells me they go, they looking for safe areas. They come down here for Yeah, time. they did. They're not coming here to feed. But I mean, this has got to be some kind of a flyway through here, man. It's got to be because all the birds are flying the same path. All right, I'm gonna scoop up these birds. That's all gray, huh? Yeah, that's all gray. Well, y'all, so far the lease is doing good. Uh, a little bit better than I expected. There's a flock over there across the grass. Could be, could be dogrees. Gad wall. Another gad wall. Change the birds. Oh, that's a big flock. They're still coming. I'm gonna get back in the blind. They wanted to do it. Dang, man. Yep. Four gad wall to start the morning. Well, five gad wall. Five gad wall. Perfect. And if y'all ask me, this is my picture perfect duck hunting right here. Minus the gnats. Can I toss you one of them? I'll keep the other, the other three with me. Some, I think it's one, uh, one, one or two adolescent drakes and then a couple hens. I'm going to leave these in the p -roll. Just going to flip them over. Brown side up. Goodness gracious. Bad? Yep. I'll sacrifice standing up for the gnats. We ain't gonna kill no duck standing up though. Yeah, it's gotta just crouch down, I guess, when you see him, but it's hard when the sun's beaming off of you. We need wind. Bad. Something awful. We need wind. I thought we were gonna have a windy open the morning. It was supposed to be blowing 20 30 miles an hour. What is going on? I said I hated the wind. I didn't want the wind. Now I want it back. Please bring me wind. Please, Lord. Bring me wind. Grace? Yeah, they just landed right there. Really? They landed? Yeah. In the pond right behind you? In the Oh yeah, sit down. Hit him with a little whack. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, 
Here they come, here they come. Over oh, back right shoulder. Stay still. They got a teal with them too. Just don't move, they come right over the top. They're coming right back. I'm shooting that teal. <laughs> Kill him. Told you. Oh, I got in my face. Hey, right, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, you knocked down, you knocked down both of them? Yeah. I told you I was gonna shoot that teal. Oh, I didn't see you. I got it. I got it. You got it? In all honesty, hmm? I'm gotta get used to it. What? The, oh, sitting down and shooting? Yes. Well, it, it takes it takes time to get used to it, man. Sitting down and shooting like that. You're not you don't have your form when you're sitting down. It's right there. Just stay there. Like a graze coming right in, talking. You hear that? They're so beautiful. Just don't move. Dude, the nets are so bad. Hey, two on the right. Two on the right. Huh? Yeah, I see him. They're out there a little ways, dude. They landed off that freaking dead duck. I can't see nothing with that sun. Hey, at least they came in the pond. <laughs> they like the pond, bro. He landed off that dead duck. You saw that? You heard him before I did. Oh, dude, that was amazing. I love hearing them like that. Those things were cutting yeah, up, bro. Huh? I, <laughs> I don't either. I don't, have, I don't own a great echo. Look. Do you hear how many different sounds a great echo makes? Oh, yeah. There was four, there was, there was four or five different sounds. Was what, six birds? Yeah. I mean, there, there's so many different vocal sequences that they do. They don't just go at ah, ah, like people say. Oh my god, dude, these freaking net are driving me crazy right now, bro. Oh my god, bro. We about to be done just based on gnats. It's coming. It's a gray duck. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, just be still. Shoot him. You got him, Shane. On the bank. I had to. He flared on us. I was just playing clean up on that one. Sorry, I had to. He was flaring. <laughs> it's all good. What am I shooting? Three inch number fours. Oh god, that's large. Is he on the bank? That's what I'm, I'm shooting two and three quarter number fours. <laughs> yeah, that boss has got a lot more gunpowder than one. Yeah. Right? See your left a little bit more. Look, that way. That's water. Keep walking that way. You should be right there. He's right there somewhere. Got him? It's a hen, huh? Yep. I tried that hen from earlier. Probably. Alright, I'm gonna go pick up them two birds. Right. I gotta I just gotta get away from the gnats. <laughs> I don't think that uh duck hunting in South Louisiana gets any better than gabwall hunting in the marsh, man. I, I just can't. <sighs> Yeah, I just like seeing them actually decoy, man. Well, that's good. Taylor's hunting right over there. Uh, him and his dad. They got a they got a couple birds down, I believe. Yeah, beautiful. Pick up my teal. 
<laughs> that was funny. That flock of grays come in with that uh with that one teal in it. I said I'm shooting that teal. Early season, y'all. You know, don't have to have the best of blind in the world because it's early. A lot of adolescent birds, juvenile birds, you know. It makes for some good decoying birds, some good action, some good footage. So I'm hoping that all of this looks really good for y'all. In Greenway. Dude, I am A-OK -okay with leaving right now. These gnats are horrible, bro. I don't, uh, opening day, you know, we can ease into it and not put too much pressure on this place and be back tomorrow, you know? Oh, look at these gnats. These gnats are horrible. We're leaving. We had a sailor at first light. We're over here where we think it fell. Looking for it. Got it now. There he is. Oh, on the tree. Yeah, right there. Dead as a doornail. <clears throat> Sweet. So that makes four for you. Nine birds, not bad for open the morning. Uh, in an area where yesterday we only seen six total birds here, so. <clears throat> Dude, my, I'm losing my voice. Oh, these gnats were crazy, y'all. We had to leave, there was no way. There's no way we were gonna sit there in those gnats. I didn't have anything to spray because <clears throat> the weatherman said it was gonna be blowing like 20, 30 miles an hour today. And it might be, but later on today. So when I packed for this trip, I didn't pack anything you know, to deal with the, with the gnats. <clears throat> because whenever the wind's blowing, gnats don't bother you, but. <coughs> Y'all, I'm tore up. Uh, but yeah, we about to get in touch with Taylor. They're over here hunting on a piece of big water. And then we about to head on back to the trailer. So, <clears throat> yeah, good hunt. What you got there, Big T? A little bacon and eggs. Camp food. Oh yeah, cooking for the camp. <laughs> Have fun this morning or what? We shot 13 grays in like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, realistically. The gnats got us and that's why we ran us out and that's why we didn't stick it out to shoot a limit, but man, we had a good morning early, early. We shot everything at 15 yards, man, you can't beat it. Yes, and sir. We got dad back in the woods or in the marsh and uh, he enjoyed it. It was a good morning. <laughs> Then you got, then you got the other one. Ow. Tangy girl. Hey, baby. Yeah, y'all. This, whew. These allergies got me messed up. You hear me? Messed up. But I tell you what, this good camp cooking here is going to make me feel a little bit better. But, uh, but yeah, y'all, we, we, I think we pretty much done. I don't think we plan on going back out there at all this evening or nothing. Huh? Let it rest. Yeah, we're going to let the place rest, man. You know, Shane had mentioned whenever we were down there, yeah, we always going to make an evening hunt, but it's a long run. First off, like I told y'all this morning, where our property is, it is way out there. So, uh, yeah, it's a good 40 minute boat ride. It, it's just, let it rest, you know. We'll be out there tomorrow. Not going to be greedy. We'll go out there and try to give them another chance tomorrow, but but yeah, I'm actually gonna split it up. I usually do my opening weekend videos where I do two hunts, like both days, but I think I'm gonna split it up into two videos. I think this was a good video to stand alone. So y'all be looking for the next video because tomorrow we're gonna be hunting again and then I'll be putting out another video after this one. So yeah, guys, we're gonna wrap that up, man. I really appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV.